Hello everyone, welcome back to Season Cuisine. So today I am continuing my Thanksgiving series and I'm going to show you how to make this herb crusted um, recipe for either your chicken or turkey. I am using chicken, but you can do it for your turkey as well. It is perfect for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and any special occasion. So if you want to see how to make this recipe, keep on watching. <laughs> If you want to wet brine your chicken or your turkey, make sure you check out my previous video where I have a detailed tutorial or detailed recipe on how to create your brine. But this is just the brine that I created and I just used some oranges, some lemon, thyme, rosemary, some brown sugar, garlic, and other stuff in there. And I just made sure that I brined my turkey or my chicken for at least 24 hours and just stored it in the fridge. And now let's make our compound butter for for our butter crusted um, bird. So I just added some unsalted butter, some garlic, some rosemary. So I'm using fresh rosemary and I'm adding some fresh thyme. And then I am going in with some dry herbs as well. You can use any dry herbs, but this part is optional. If you don't wanna use any dry herbs, you can just use more fresh rosemary, more of the fresh thyme to give you that crust. But yeah, I just combined everything, added some black pepper and i just added a little bit of salt because i remember we made our brine and the brine had a lot of salt so you don't need a lot of salt but just use some softened butter and mix everything together so for my chicken i removed it from the brine and i just rinsed it under water i just ran it under water to remove all the excess salt on the skin and make sure you run the water inside the cavity as well and i just let it sit on a rack and let it drain for at least an hour and then i just took a napkin a clean napkin I'm just gonna dry out the skin because this will make sure that when you put the butter on the skin that it will stick the butter will st stick on the chicken and now I'm just gonna tie um, the legs and I'm just using um, a rope I forgot the name but just tie your chicken and the way I am tying my chicken is I don't want to tie it too tight because I want to stuff the cavity of the chicken so just um, tie it just enough and make sure the legs are on top and not on the bottom they're resting on the top of the breast and not um, on the bottom of the chicken because that would make it hard for you to put the stuffing in and now I am just inserting my finger in between this um, the skin and the chicken so that I can like um, add my compound butter and since the butter is so soft and it, we let it sit down it just easily glides inside the chicken so that each part of the chicken will be fully marinated with that herb garlic seasoning and make sure you get inside of the cavity as well. You can wear gloves, but it's harder when to season your um, chicken or apply the butter if you wear gloves. That's why I'm using my hand, but you can do anything you want, but make sure you add the compound butter in the back and the legs each part of the chicken just put um, just put your fingers in between the skin and just add the butter and then when you're done use the remainder of the butter to apply it on the on the skin of the chicken and I'm just using a spoon as you can see since the butter is so soft it just glides really easily on the skin and because we dried the skin as well that's why the butter is just gliding on the skin if you didn't do that and it's wet it's gonna be really difficult for you to do that so make sure you don't skip that process and now I'm just using the same ingredients that I use for my brine to stuff my chicken and you can do that again I said you can use turkey and I'm just adding some white onions and then I am going in with some fresh oranges some oranges and I'm adding some rosemary and then I am adding some lemon and finally some thyme but you can add in some celery you can put in some carrot anything you want to stuff your chicken or turkey with do that and I'm just putting it on this um, roasting pan and now I am adding some um, broth right now I'm adding some vegetable broth because I couldn't find my chicken broth but later on I found my chicken broth and I just added some chicken broth to it so that you know I can have more juice from the drippings if you want to make a gravy and if you want more sauce or more dripping make sure you cover your um, pan or your chicken with a foil for the first hour when it's roasting and then after that remove it and make sure um, 
you baste your turkey as you're cooking it so after that first hour in the oven baste it every 15 minutes to get this beautiful color and that is it guys um, I will have a detailed recipe in the description box below like usual but I just decorated uh, my chicken and make it festive for Thanksgiving with some rosemary thyme and all of my citrus that I use but if you love this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit the notification button so that you will get notified every time I post a video thank you so much. Bye.